good morning. Uh, thank you, Dr. Devashish Bhattacharya, for inviting and uh, allowing me in this, in this course. My topic is uh, trenching and cracking. Because of angulation, 45 degree tips uh, does more sculpting, but uh, trenching is uh, less. And 15 degree tip is almost uh, circular in configuration, which gives more occlusion than trenching and zero degree tips gives occlusion only and 30 degree tip is ideal for trenching during trenching mild to moderate aspiration flow rate is uh, sufficient as there is no followability or occlusion is required and the vacuum is my moderate uh, vacuum is required because we only need to uh, remove the trench material during trenching Power setting depends on the hardness of the nucleus. Harder the nucleus, more preset energy to be used. And in softer cataract, softer energy like micropulse or torsional can be used. Uh, during uh, trenching, 1 to 1.5 millimeter of uh, tip should be exposed from the sleep. Trenching should start just in front of the rexis margin at 12 o'clock and stops just uh, short of uh, rexis margin at 6 o'clock. It should not cross the rexis on either side. In uh, harder uh, cataract, trenching should be wide and long. And in more energy should be used during uh, uh, trenching in harder cataract. In softer cataract, uh, less energy should be used and the tunnel should be short and narrow. The angle of attack means the angle between the anterior surface of the lens and the angle uh, FECO needle and it should be 45 degree. Otherwise, uh, we may superficially chip the nucleus and injure the rexis. One third of the tip should be buried in the nucleus to get perfect trenching. If we bury the tip too much in the nucleus, the tip does not trench but pushes the nucleus to the periphery and the same thing happens if we use less energy or be shy on the paddle. The nucleus is uh, thicker in the center. So while trenching, uh, more amount of tissue should be trenched in the center. And while coming back, no energy should be wasted. And more energy to be used during trenching in the center of the nucleus. Every time the refocus of the microscope is essential for uh, seeing the uh, posterior aspect of the nucleus very clearly. They remove uh, small chips carefully during deep trenching. Otherwise, we may blow a hole in the periphery. While rotating the nucleus, if we rotate from the center of the trench, we get a short fulcrum. So there is a difficulty in, in uh, rotating. But if we rotate from the periphery, if we push from the periphery of the tunnel, we get bigger fulcrum and there will be a better rotation. So well, when one side of the uh, uh, nucleus is strange and then the nucleus is rotated 180 degree to get uh, scalp from the upper part of the trench. We can uh, counterbalance the force of trenching by fixing the nucleus with a Sinsky hook. Now coming to cracking. Uh, we need to place the two instrument at the deeper part of the uh, trench and apply equal force on either instrument in the depth of the tunnel. If we apply more force at one, one instrument, there will be traction on the opposite zonule. Now, while cracking, the, if we place the instrument at the superficial part of the trench, it will be very difficult to get it cracked. When uh, cracking should be initiated from the periphery of the uh, train tunnel, and the, then it is, uh, if it is incomplete, we need to rotate 180 degree 
and complete the cracking from other part of the trench. The center is very hard, so it is very difficult to, uh, to crack from the center. Moreover, we do not get a good fulcrum. Now, uh, this video demonstrates how to do right trenching and cracking. The trenching is started from the 12 block rock, just in front of the 12 block outer axis margin, and uh, stops just in front of the axis margin at the 6 o'clock. And one third of the FACO needle tip should be engaged during trenching. And the width of the tunnel should be one and a half width of the FACO needle. When one side is completed, the nucleus is rotated 180 degree and do the same thing for the trenching in the other side. Then during drip tension, we need to refocus microscopic to see clearly. And sometimes we need to uh, repeat this step to get the desired depth of the tunnel. And when the desired depth is reached, place two instrument at the periphery and cracking initiated. And if it is incomplete, rotate the nucleus 180 degree and trenching is, uh, cracking is completed from the other side. Thank you.